Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Crystal, and I'm back with another mukbang, y'all. What's up? We got a D-Shell boy, y'all. We got the B-Love sauce. Y'all, what I here? I got the spicy. I brought the package so y'all can see it. I only use this much. So I still got some left, y'all know. I be mean, like, I don't be using all her sauce, you know what I'm saying, when I first get it. Um, it was not sold out then, so I'm sure it's sold out now. I was on top of it. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Okay, so y'all, we got mussels, we got lobster, we got corn, sausage, cucumbers, eggs, shrimp. All right? We gonna get into it. Hope y'all can see this. I was trying to, um, like, do it so I could, like, dip it in here, but, you know. How was, how y'all doing? Mm. Mm -hmm. What is it? I made her sauce. Could make it the way she got it on there, or she said, Herbie 3, you can make it. You could, you know, do it whatever you want to. That's how I did it. I did it. Stuff I like. I put a little two times in it. That's not the real, real hot one. Y'all can have a bite. Get it while they're getting this So y'all, I ate earlier today because I was like, whenever I be cooking, I be too hungry. I be eating on everything while I'm while I'm cooking. Not all the time, sometimes. So I was like, this time, I'm just gonna take my time. I done cleaned up my kitchen, but I'm starving now. That was earlier today. That was. Let's try to stop to sell you all. Let y'all see it. Let me just put the pan on the hook right here. Let's put that in. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. This lobster tail is on the money too. This is a D shell boil. I do have the muscle shell on there, but I pulled all of the other side of the shell off of there. So it's basically no shells in here besides this lobster shell, which is nothing that's in anything that I have to pull. Even the shrimp, they good to roll. They is good to go. Mm. Girl. I've been waiting. basically did mine like hers i don't have everything in it you know what's so crazy i went ahead and re-bought it because i forgot what it tastes like like i was like oh i forgot what it tastes like no more you know what when i went to amazon i was buying something else i'm like let me see let me see if it's available and sure enough was i got the spicy as y'all know the spicy is not very hot so 
to y'all people who scared of spicy, you'll be okay. It'll be okay. Mm. This is so good. Yeah, y'all. What's up? How are you guys doing? It's March. Happy March, y'all. It's time. It's just time. Whatever you mean, whatever you think I mean by when I say it's time, it's time. Whatever your heart. Mm. It was so crazy for me. When I do a deep shell, I always feel like I'm not gonna have enough in the to fill the bowl. And I definitely did. That's my corn. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Like <laughs> y'all. Oh, this is good. I got sauce everywhere already. So let me tell y'all, I didn't have any um Sausages. Cause, okay, so let me tell you, I was supposed to do a D-shell boil the other day, right? Because I still had some left over from my other seafood boil. Oh, excuse me. And, um... Mm -hmm. But... I started nibbling at that. It was just that it didn't have nothing. <laughs> I love these shell boils. Mm. You can get right to it. Bring it up on the muscle. Bring it up on the muscle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now I'm putting my hair back. That hair feels. Okay. Come back. This is too good. I could not be fighting with no hair. I should have put the two times in both of them. Here y'all go. Y'all want another bite? Y'all want another bite? So actually, I'm doing this video on March 1st. In the Black History Month. But I have still ordered this shirt. I don't think it's so cute. It says... If I get my butt <laughs> It says, We out. Harriet Tubman, 
1840. 1840. Man, she was still alive. She would be super old. <laughs> like, I thought that was cute. Like, she like, we all look. We pull it. She pulled up on them. And an under, under, um, what's it called? Underground Railroad? Mm -hmm, my brain. Mm -hmm. We all, I love how our people put new spins on stuff. Because it's just so realistic. Like, but if they if they spoke the same lingo we we spoke, that's probably what she would have said. Period. She might have been like, matter of fact, let's go right now. Like, I ain't trying to hear nothing. Mm. These muscles and this sauce are so good. Y'all iron this uh like I said. I'm gonna eat it. We is gonna eat it. Uh, we're gonna get some goodness on there. We're we gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, I'll be having jalapenos in my stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, good. Mm. I forgot the lemon though. Dunk it over here. Dunk it over here. To any of my new subscribers, if you have not already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn it gray. Savory lobster because it be going so fast. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's delicious, though. Oh my god, it was so good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was good. This is our super messy mug bone. I pretty thought it was not gonna be that messy because it's a in a bottle. Mmm. Yep. So y'all, I'm trying to eat. I'm so hungry. Oh, so I got some of these peppers, these red and orange ones in here, or they cut up? I got them cut up in here. And when I made the sauce, I cooked them with the onion. This sauce is all bomb. That's really good. Mm. Mm. 
The shrimp and sausage. Mmm. <laughs> I'm trying to get away. This is literally so good right now. Mm. And I didn't eat earlier. So most of the time I be having ate all day, but it's good. Woo! I want to go. So yeah, if y'all have not bought her sauce or her spice, I mean it's up to you. you she has the recipe on her um youtube that you can do it like that you can always always do it like that but to me it's it is easier like i don't know man. i just be lazy you know what i'm saying but but i'm but I'm, I'm also being supportive you know what i'm saying so i got it again so i'm definitely gonna be having some seafood boys coming up because for me even with um dame sauce or even my homemade butter sauce i put them in like little baggies because when it's time to cook y'all we out here grinding it's time to cook i don't got time to be measuring all that stuff I just don't got time. Like, I don't have no, anybody helping me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I don't have time to do that. So, I put it all together. Like, even I got, I got a dip and dash butter sauce, a uh, spice bag up there. So, when I get ready to do his, when I, because I did the last one, I, made, I just made double and put it in another bag. So, yeah. But it's good. Mmm. Y'all gotta try these shit, boy. I just got to. Y'all just have to, okay? Just have to. So let me tell y'all. What's popping with March? We have to keep it pushing. For me, in February, I don't even remember February. I feel like February was a whole blur. And I slept through the whole thing. Like, for real. Like, was I even there? Hmm. I breathe me now. Like, I'm not breathing. My mood was on and off. I don't know. But. March. <clears throat> March is here. And. Which means. We got. So, after March. We have nine months left in the year. We got ten months basically right now. So, what are you going to do with your 10 months? Mine, I'm just praying, like, because mine right now is, like, it's here and there. You know what I'm saying? I got some stuff in the works. But I feel like that could easily not be in the works, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, so, with that being said, um... My grind could be harder. So let me tell y'all. So I was I watch when I get into a little space that I'm like not I'm not in a good head space, I'll say that. When I get it could be a depression, funk or whatever. And you know what's so crazy is like I get into it, like I get down before I I don't even know. Like I I'm already like by the time it clicks it clicks in my head that I am down, I'm already down. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like I could catch it like sliding. I don't know why it's, I, I've always been like that. Like, honestly, I've always, I catch it, like, when I'm in it. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Mm. I listen to, I told y'all, I listen to E.T. The Hip Hop Preacher, you know, you too. And so... He a motivational speaker for y'all who don't know him. He's not really like a preacher. He a motivational speaker. He do preach. Mm, not really though. 
Well, when I say, for whatever reason, his stuff is so motivated to me. I listened to a podcast yesterday that was like two hours long. I didn't even know I was listening to that because most of the time I try to look at videos and see how, you know, if I watch the person I don't really look, I just want to watch them. So, um, but I was watching, oh my God, when I say it has so many gems in that video, it just had me kind of. It was, he was like, do you look in the mirror? You want to go to a counselor and this and this and that? He was saying that, yeah, do this. Or you might want to talk to your friend about this. He like, but if it's been a couple years and that ain't working, it's not working, period. And he was saying, you got to hold yourself accountable. He one of them people that like, just tell it how it is. And that's, I'm, I need to hear like how it is. So he basically said, he had them writing down like for, was it for the beginning of the year or for, um, whatever it was, he was saying, how much percentage do you feel like you're putting into your life right now? Like, like how much effort, you know what I'm saying? If you're saying, I want to do this, I want to start a business, da, 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 how much percentage and just in general, even in your own job. I was like, Ew. So mine, mm -mm. In my head, I'm like, I'm only giving 60 and I'm complaining like crazy. Like, I'm like, I hate these jobs. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in my hair, but for me, I would say 60. Like, so for me, that'd be a whole 40. That's almost half for real. Like, let's keep it a buck. Like, it's mean, like my, my guy is like, well, Crystal, like, you ain't, you ain't putting in. As much as you think you put in, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it's hard because you do get discouraged, you do get done, you just like, I don't care. I'm not trying to do none of this. How about that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what happened. I don't care. Let, let these bills go. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, we all know that's not the route to go because trying to get up out of that is worse than being sad about it. You know what I mean? So he said that. Oh my God, he has so much stuff in this video. What was the name of the video? It was a two hour podcast. He said, it said something with your heart. Where's my heart at? Now, that part came later. Like, that didn't even have really nothing to do with the whole, most of the podcast. But, but anyway, you got to know your stuff. You got to know what builds you up. You can't wait on people to build you up. People are not going to be you. You cannot, like, I don't know. God is so good because I was like, don't show you pray for stuff. Like, I've seen so many signs. Like, I pray for signs because I be so unsure. Um... I see signs that's like, okay, well, okay. Yep, you shouldn't do that. You should do that. But one thing about life in general, it don't matter who you are, you have to be self-motivated. I don't care. Even if you don't want to be, even if you got somebody there that be waking you up every day and be like, get up and go to work. It don't matter because they can wake you up and get up, get up and go to work, but it can drop you off. You don't have to go in there and work. You can go in the bathroom or you can go sit there and like, I ain't working. You know what I'm saying? You have to want it a little bit for yourself. And to me, to me, this world is becoming like, how can I say? So, so, so cruel and so unleavened that it's like, it's hard to do that. Because when you come outside, just like even today, I went outside. So do the seafood boy. I went outside. I need I needed some sausage and stuff. So I really wanted. I was like, I want some sausage. This. And the um the guy that was he was another line than me. I went to Seven Lot and he nothing to say. Doesn't matter. I could have been to Jane Eagle, Highness. Doesn't matter. That hasn't the store has nothing to do with it in my opinion. I just feel like this dude was there with his kids and he all of a sudden started cussing out the cash register, the cashier. And the cashier was like, hey, my man, I don't know who you're talking to. Do, do, do. So I'm like, oh, my God. So then I started looking around. Like, oh, my God, these little kids right there. But the little kids is with him. But my thing was like, my heart kind of went out to both. Because it was like, this guy don't want to lose his job. But he probably over it. Because he probably like, who are you talking to? But then we don't know what happened in this man's life. The one who went off to make him go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't put our input in because maybe something just bad just happened or whatever the case is you know what i mean and it was over bags like <laughs> it really was over bags he said the dude who was mad the customer was like 
Don't tell me how to bag. Stay in your place. Don't tell me. Blah, 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 blah. Don't tell me how to bag. And I'm like, don't tell you how to bag. Like, that's how, that's the part I came in on. I'm like, tell you how to bag. We bag our own stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he was, I don't know. I feel like it was probably a miscommunication because of, I don't know. I didn't see it, so I don't know. But to me, the cashier probably, it was a bag on the floor too. So the cashier probably said, I already gave you the bags you wanted. And he probably didn't see them. See, you know what I'm saying? It, but anyway, what if something would have jumped off? What if they would have started fighting? I was just trying to go get some sausage and stuff. They ain't even had no lemons. Matter of fact, I went there to get some lemons too. They ain't even had nothing. They was out. They had them three, four dollars and everybody cleared them out. So my thing is that, what, I, what I'm saying is that, but they don't, it, somebody, somebody, something could have happened to, what, or even if still, even if nothing would happen to nobody that was around, something could have, it, just the fact that that transpired, you don't know what I'm going through. I don't know what this, ne this lady next to me is going through. What if she pulled out a pistol? I mean, you just don't know. To me, I feel like everything is on edge when you go outside. You know what I mean? I'm not scared to go outside, but I feel like when you go outside, you need to be ready for whatever. Because... I don't know. Stuff is going left real fast. And because I'm like, even if he felt that way about the bag, like just get another bag or no, you know what I'm saying? But some people feel like, you know what? No. Like this man trying to play me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, mm. my mind, my business. I don't be saying about it. I don't try to dispute nothing. I'd be like the main one of the things. Like somebody could be literally on fire and I walk past, not on fire, but. It depends. Because if you live in my building, you on fire. Well, not on fire. I'm being dramatic. But if something looks out of the norm, but nobody's around, I'm not sure why that is. Especially if it's not like a kid or somebody in harm or an old person. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> because too much stuff be set up and too much stuff people come out and be like, nobody told you to touch my car. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, you could be like, oh, your door was open. Da, 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 da. You know, like, nobody told you I opened it on, on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-mm. I'm cool. But anyway, my point of saying that is that regardless, I, I, I've learned that regardless of whatever you go, you go through, life still goes on. People still want you to show up. And not only that, you got to show up for your own self. You know, you just do. Hmm. And March. We gonna go hard. I'm gonna start rocking out, y'all. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we gonna go hard. Period. You know, um, we got to. Because now I was listening to that, um, podcast, I'm like, ooh. Because he was like, he was basically saying, people always want to complain and say this person, this and that. But what are you putting out? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? And you be like, I'm working. I work. I work. I work. You can say that. But he like, mm, mm, I'm saying you working. But is you working? Some of you, some of that, some, some people that went over there, you know what I mean? But is you working? Meaning, are you showing up to work? Are you being punctual? Are you being a worker that they want to keep around? When you get off, you know what I'm saying? You still a worker. You still gotta you still gotta do whatever you gotta do to survive in your own life. You know what I mean? Or are you showing up? Or are we getting depressed? Are we smoking our life away? Are we drinking our life away? You know what I mean? Like what's going on? Because that's very easily can happen. You know what I mean? And so my thing is like, I don't know. I just I just that just really Got me on board. I don't know. I just love his videos. Like I said, if y'all need motivation, everybody gets motivated differently. But I love his videos or so. Because I always tell y'all we could do better. We could, now we could, we could be young. I'm guaranteeing somebody watching this right now that has a great idea, but they so comfortable in their own job that they won't do it. Period. Even with this YouTube, like I've met a lot of people, and like just in general, you meet people, and they're like, "Oh, da, 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 you so friendly." Da, 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 da. I would never think I would have subscribers. Just in general, people who just be like, "Oh, what's up, Krista?" You know, what I'm saying? I just not. It is no nothing against you. I just you. I'm not exposed to it. I'm not exposed to it, so I can't see 
if I'm not if I'm not out there to know like okay it's a whole nother world even though we we know now because we got social media but if you really don't know that somebody might rock with you heavier than somebody that's right next to you you know what I mean like that's a big thing and hard to kind of like put in your head because you be like no nah, like you know ain't nobody gonna subscribe ain't nobody gonna sub like I said before if y'all want to do a YouTube do it. It ain't no easy breezy walking or walk in the park, but if you start, it's somebody for everybody. But anything, you know what I'm saying? So for March, we need to push it to the limit. I don't know how. Cause I don't got it all figured out at all. But I'm good at taking stuff one day at a time. That's why I'm good. Stop on trying to do that. I feel like just we should all just live up, live up to our potential and beyond more. We don't never know what we could do. We might be thinking like, okay, I'm good at this, but then you see another niche that you like, oh. I do that with my eyes closed. Like anybody worried about that? Anybody know how to edit like that? Well, somebody need an editor. You know, it's just a lot of different stuff. I don't know. I want to start talking in circles. Well, but anyway, for March, I feel like let's get it popping. Let's get it going. I feel like uh, for me personally, I feel like self-motivation has always been a big thing of mine. And God, of course. But, you know, I feel like... um you want it you gotta go get it you know what i'm saying and then they gotta go get his part is the part the hard part because they got if gotta go get it was wired and stuff they'd be like you gotta move you know what i'm saying because of course we want it we want all the perks we want all the goods the glitz the glam all the good stuff but it don't work like that not only that life ain't fair so we could we could try to go out there and go get it we could fall flat on our face but that's why we all need to be together Nothing he said in his thing, in his podcast. He was saying was that he didn't pay his workers initially, right? And they still work for him. Right? Basically, he was weeding people out. But <clears throat> what he was also doing was he was building a community, basically. Like, he got his boys around him. They a solid crew. You know what I mean? So, when one of his guys was just buying a house, he was like, I gave him a down payment for it. He like, I knew how it was when I didn't have a down payment for mine. He like, not saying that he don't got it, because he do. He said, but at the end of the day, we, we all ride together. Another, another big thing he said, he said as he got bigger, he um some of his boys felt like he needed security. And one of the other guys, which I follow this other guy but i didn't even know that they was part of the team i kept looking at him like that doesn't like the dude he sounded like him too if y'all follow nine to five millionaire he is part of et's like crew so he said the dude nine to five millionaire his name is maul they call him maul but his name is jamal so they was like maul was like um yeah you need you need security he was like we'll just take it out of um real estate success whatever his name of his uh, real estate place is how humbling is that? Like, you basically saying, you my dog. Like, you need real estate. He has the money. E.T. got the money. You can take it out of his pocket. But you like, no, I like, we all, we all run together. Like, don't worry about it. We'll pay for it. Like, that's love on a whole nother level. That, that almost, I ain't going to say it don't exist, but it's hard to find because according to E.T., it was not even according to E.T., it's a fact. We got broke mentalities. We looking out for ourselves. You know what I mean? Some, anybody, you ain't about to sit up here and be like, okay, Crystal, uh, I'm gonna look out for you. I'm gonna do this and do that. What I'm because what because what's your benefit? Well, what are you getting from it? You know what I'm. That's where we all look at. Like if I do this, what I'm gonna get from it? Now, granted, it's some of us that do do it and just do it from the kindness of our heart. But let's be for real. Like, but anyway, so they was like, he did this. He was like, God, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, he back was with ET. Appreciate the most. He said, you need security, and then basically. 
He told him what he needed, and it was a solution with it. He was like, you need security, and we could just take it out of um, real estate, wealthy, whatever. The, I can't even remember the name of it. I keep wanting to remember it. But whatever the name of it was, period. So, basically, he just, just, just looked out for him. That's like, that is a family. That's a brotherhood. That was a whole... Not only that, it brought a whole nother respect to the situation. Like y'all gotta, I don't know, y'all gotta, y'all gotta watch it. Like it motivated me to get back up, get moving, cause y'all, I was sluggish. I wasn't, wasn't motivated. I was hating everything. I was hating all these jobs. Y'all heard me talking about these jobs, and I still don't necessarily like them. But at the end of the day, it's still a blessing that I got them, cause they still pay me. So, ooh. But yeah, y'all. At the end of the day, my point is that we can motivate each other. Okay? <laughs> That's basically what I was trying to say. Alright, y'all. This was delicious. I feel like I smashed them just running around my blue, blue, blue. But to any of my new subscribers, thank you to my MVPs. My people who stayed to the end of the video. Y'all know I love y'all. For real. I love y'all. We're going to make this March a great March. Okay? For real. We're going to make it. And whew, I don't know how, though. Sometimes I'll be like, I don't know how. And it's going to be who it's going to be. And I'm not even all that saucy on my shirt, too. Look at my hair. like a poop bag. But I love y'all, for real. And I really want the best for everybody. Like, if I, I feel like if I was over it, I would. I wouldn't have, I don't even get my pen. It's because everybody's different. You know what I mean? But I was going to say, was I wouldn't even be building schools in Africa. I'd be helping the schools here. But that's just my opinion on it. And I don't know the logistics behind it. But that's just the way I was thinking. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, the way she giving the people, you know, whatever it is. Really. Just, mm -mm, I'm about to start. Did y'all see, see them laughing at her? When she fell? I was like, I'm done with the internet. I'm done. Because then they put music behind it. I saw one of they put music behind it. Because at first I seen it fall, it was not funny. I don't think it's funny, especially when older people fall. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't, I just, I don't think it's funny. Especially because they can really hurt themselves. You know what I mean? But when they start putting music behind it, I'm like, oh, I'm no better than ever. <laughs> I'm dying laughing, okay? But I hope everybody has a great week. Um, if you can, please listen to him. If you want to be motivated, if you feel like you're down in the funk, um, it's cool to be there. But but just know that you better than that. Just know just know that you got more to offer. Like even if you gotta drink some coffee, you gotta take some five hour energy. You gotta you need to get up. Like he be like, I need that. I'm about to bring out that dog. Y'all need to y'all need to. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Like me too. This week. I don't want to work. I don't want to. I don't want to pick up no more shifts than I got to, but I need to. Cause God probably needs to work every day this week. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We all in this together. Don't feel like you ever by yourself, because you're not. And if anything, you ain't nobody else. You got a God. Period. You ain't never by yourself. But I love y'all so much. Anybody who has really stayed here to the end of this video, like I really do love y'all. Um. I wish y'all the best. Let's make this March very good. Um, we capable. And I'm just going to leave it at that. We, we capable. Let's let's bring out our beast mode. Let's bring out our beast mode. Okay? No, for real. I need to bring out mine this week because you know what I'm saying. The call off button always looking real. No, I'm just <laughs> no, I love you guys. Until next time, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.